morning another session of tau overflows why am i stagnant why am i stagnant this entire universe is composed of energy even matter is composed of energy and it moves in a very erratic manner sometimes it is waves like wave like sometimes it is a straight line when albert einstein was asked this question the when atom was fused tremendous and was decomposed tremendous energy was released he said what can i do when at times it this energy waves at times it moves into a straight line it moves both way life is a play of energy and how does energy comes into the body through the air the breath a medium through the medium of the air breathing the life force or the energy comes in the body we can say life is energy when energy flows freely life moves else otherwise life gets stuck at one point this is stagnation as we call it no flow no movement this is how it goes on energy moves through channels in human body there are 72000 <clears throat> nerves through which blood flows blood is mixed with oxygen and flows so first of all we have to know how this energy gets blocked two ways it happens number one your connection with the cosmic source of energy is broken or when it is broken there the energy is not coming into your body body acts as a generator also so that generator may not be functioning properly may not be conserving energy may not be flowing may not be distributing the energy so this has to be discovered first and then when we can find the solution i give you an example a few months ago in our store at the door there is an electric lock so electric lock started malfunctioning three years it worked non stop without any problem it started malfunctioning at times using the switch it will open other times it won't so we call the technician to check it he came whatever was possible for him he changed switches he checked everything the magnet on the door he changed but we noticed that it is not functioning after couple sessions he worked on and he said the door is working properly it is locking it switch is working but we notice that whenever door is pushed or pulled with the force it opens so i mentioned it to him he said it looks like the magnetic connection is not strong enough this is a simple thing i will come and fix it he came he looked into 
he adjusted the magnet so that it sticks properly. Now it happened that it is get so hardly closed, strongly closed that it cannot open with the switch or otherwise. So he started saying it looked like there is a jinx or there is a bad energy or there is something evil or something or the other. So I said in this place there is no negative energy and even if anybody comes with the negative energy whenever he comes within this energy field everything changes. This normally happens. Energy gets stuck at one place alone or at several places. But whether it gets stuck at one place or several places, one place remains the main point while the rest are secondary. So you have to work on this primary cause so that the flow of the energy can be released. And because of that, you find when this happens in life, your energy is not moving freely. It may not be generating properly. It may not be conserving properly. It may not be distributing. Several problems can be there, but these have to be corrected. So what actually happens Energy flows perineally. Entire existence is nothing but the flow of energy in different configurations. Sufis use a process called Tawajjo. When the master or sheikh harnesses this energy and directs its flow towards the seekers, in general or to those in meditation in a particular place or where it is needed more. Also, those who are connected to the awakened one intimately will feel the flow of energy at that moment and always. To nourish these seekers this is what the masters do during their special meditation sessions. Masters choose the early morning for this time, for the transfer of energy. However, during meditation, this is done. Meditation is transfer of energy. Sometimes the seeker feels the intense flow where this flow will work in a particular seeker depends on what needs to be worked in that seeker. The, you know, the, it is like that water is flowing and it moves from a higher to, it will fill those areas which are lower, which needs more energy. Sometimes the flow is very intense yet serene, as if you are flow in a rhythm, eyes close without any effort. The seeker does not feel to open the eyes. Time flows on and the seeker does not open the eyes either, yet remains blissful within, as if he has tasted the nectar. Now, this type of flow refers to a particular when the work is to be done at a particular center. So the, it is because of the break in the flow of energy or you can call it electric current 
there is a blockage and that blockage is when it continues for a longer period of time, it creates stagnation and you feel life and you want to know why am I stuck? Why am I stagnant? The other type happens when you feel strong waves of emotions and love are flowing towards you and you are drowning in these waves. This is another form of the energy. When the energy is sent, it has to be harnessed in such a way that it does not harm the person, instead it works. So all the problem of stagnation is stuck in life is happened because the energy is, is stuck. When energy is stuck, it manifests at the level of the mind as psychological problems. So most of the problems that one faces in life are psychological in nature. There is no spiritual problems. A spirituality means only solutions. It provides solutions. Mind is the problem and to live with the mind creates more problems. Heart is the solution. When heart and head are in harmony with one another, flow and one pulse, for the first time you realize the beingness. This realization gives you the taste of you being the bliss. So it is because of the energy blockages. The problem comes in life that we know as stagnancy. So you have to look at it. What you are doing that is creating the problem, what you are not doing, if you introspect, you will find a solution. So sometimes it becomes difficult to discover, know why there is stagnancy in my life. So just as, so you become like a block of ice, iceberg. So first of all, the ice needs to melt. The energy which is frozen need to melt and then it will flow. And as it begins to flow, it flows downward. So most of the time energy flows downward that creates another problem. So first it has to melt, then its direction has to change. How this can be done? That's where the solution comes in. What one can do to liquefy the frozen energy and then allow its direction to change, to move upward and merge into the unknown existence. This is the second part, how this stagnancy can be removed or what can we do for this. So only this much for this afternoon. Take care and do have a pleasant day.